Eaton is a premier power management company, um, you know, roughly $18 billion in sales in 2020, about 90,000 employees in 175 different countries. You know, the, the history of the company uh, going back over 100 years really is an automotive supplier starting by manufacturing axles. But really over the last 20 to 25 years, the company's undergone a dramatic transformation and in, in truly becoming a, a premier power management company playing in a number of different industries. Um, you know, we have two main sectors, our electrical sector, that's just over 11 billion in sales in our industrial sector, you know, our aerospace, our hydraulics, uh, vehicle, e-mobility and filtration businesses really in that industrial sector, uh, representing just over 6 billion in sales. And, you know, we've had a tremendous relationship with a priori. You know, the relationship really started, I think, with Craig and I, you know, about four years ago in, in 2017 really focused on, you know, cost engineering, delivering should cost, using some of the digital tools that Craig just talked about, um, not only to help our, our engineering team and design for manufacturability and design for cost, but also to help our supply chain organization as we're on this digital journey that, that Craig talked about, uh, really making an investment in digital tools and, and trying to provide better visibility and uh, more speed to market, so to speak, in terms of uh, the ability to iterate and, and run simulations and run different design cycles kind of in a in the cloud type environment, um, as opposed to the traditional method of, you know, spreadsheets and CAD and, and all the traditional ways that, that uh, you know, that occurs. And, it, you know, as you pivot to what we've all been through really over the last 18 or 19 months with COVID, you know, the, the ability to have uh, access to the data in the cloud and the ability to run those simulations and to collaborate together digitally um, has allowed our organization, you know, in partnership with Opera really to be uh, much more effective um, in the way we, we think about managing the supply chain, uh, much more effective in the way we think about design in general, um, and we think about total cost of ownership um, as a part of that, that process, right? So historically, we would have had the ability if we had a challenge to hop on a plane and you know, go meet with our colleagues and, and grind through and work through a problem face-to-face -face in a conference room. Uh, unfortunately, that you know, we've not had the luxury of doing that for the last year and a half and have had to really pivot. And, and this digital partnership uh, between the two organizations has really allowed us to do that quickly and effectively. Uh, talk a little bit about our e-mobility business. Um, it's really a, it's a relatively new business for the company, and it's a, it's a fantastic partnership. Uh, between those two sectors that I talked about, you know, the 100 plus year history in the automotive industry and understanding the needs and the demands of the customer base in that particular space, but also, you know, the fantastic products that we offer in our electrical sector and the ability to truly understand power management, very, very high voltage and very tough environments when you think about wind and solar and microgrids and other areas that the business really plays you know, the e-mobility business is really a fantastic marriage of those those two different groups together and, and allows us to really bring innovative products to the market that are going to help our customers quickly and effectively. You think about power electronics, uh, power distribution and protection, you know, through our, our busman business, we have a, a fantastic line of fuses and, and other products that play in the EV space. You know, and then we have the ability to support integrated areas with traction motors, uh, thermal management and certainly energy storage as well um, through our power quality uh, business in our electrical sector. So again, really a fantastic marriage of Eaton's 100 plus year history in the automotive industry and, and many, many, many years, decades of experience in, in effectively managing uh, high voltage and power applications in our electrical sector. You know, and, and as we think about the partnership uh, between the two organizations it really helps us from an NPI standpoint and existing products as well really think about reducing costs and driving profitable growth right we use their should cost modeling capability we have a lot of the, the, the digital modeling that Craig showed at the very beginning in terms of new product introduction and design for manufacturability we can run simulations for dimensional and mechanical modeling I mean in general these tools partner together with our engineering and our supply chain organizations uh, really working hand in hand have allowed the company to be much more effective, to bring product to the market faster, 
um, and to, to go through those design simulations almost in real time so we can get the product right um, as we try and get it to the market uh, quickly and, and very efficiently. Uh, again, in general, you know, I talked about this a relatively new business combining the, the, the history of the, the organization and really bringing two powerhouse organizations in our electrical sector and our, our vehicle business uh, together. You know, and then in general, as a supply chain function, the group that I represent at Eaton, we are on a digital journey. You know, our chief supply chain officer really talks a lot about the digital journey that, that our function is on and that the company is on in general. And Craig talked about this a little bit at the beginning, but it really allows us to drive a much more efficient and effective supply chain, you know, through the use of digital tools and in particular with the, the partnership here with Apriori. It's improved our flexibility. I talked about the speed of innovation, the digital modeling and the way we're able to approach and attack that. It has allowed us to think about standardization and reuse. Um, certainly, as Craig mentioned, in today's market, you know, I mean, there's, there's not a minute that goes by that we're not dealing with part shortages of some kind or another. So that enhanced resiliency, the visibility to what we're using, where we're using it, how we're using it, the ability to partner in, a, in the cloud-based environment with engineering to quickly model and make decisions on potential replacements um, in general, you know, very, very powerful. Um, the other thing it has done, think about the digital mindset of our supply chain staff. It has really helped, you know, the team really get a deeper product knowledge within the organization quickly um, because they're using, you know, their should cost modeling. They're using some of these digital tools to, to get deep into what's in the design and how, how things are manufactured and the processes that are used to build our, our products. It has really helped to educate the team. And at the end of the day, you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about the ability to reduce costs as a supply chain leader in the organization. Um, you know, that enhanced resiliency and re reduced costs kind of go hand in hand with the metrics in terms of what we look at and manage um, every single day. So, I mean, in general, you know, the, the, the organization uh, really, we, we partner quite well together and uh, looking forward to, to many years of continued partnership with, with Craig and the operator team.